Hey everyone, welcome back to We Sprout. And today I wanted to share with all of you some of the materials that I've been creating for our homeschool. So typically every Sunday night, I carve out a couple of hours to create materials for our homeschool. I feel like having a prepared environment is really, really important. And so even though I am a working mommy that homeschools, I do try to carve out a little bit of time to make sure that our prepared environment is looking beautiful and is inviting and is interesting to our boys. So we have two boys. Um, we have one boy who is in seventh grade, or now he's like a young man. Um, and we also have a little boy who's four years old. And up to now, we've been, you know, just mostly play-based learning and that sort of thing. Although now we are going to start doing a little bit more of a formal homeschooling schedule with the little one as well. So I created these because we've been wanting to add more art study into our, incorporate it more into our homeschool. And I thought this would be an interesting way to kick it off. For my oldest son, he can use these as a starting point and then do more research on you know the particular artist that he chooses. And of course, he can create his own boxes if he finds an artist that he really likes. And this is just sort of like a start off point, right? Um, and he can also learn more about what the meanings of the paintings are and put them in historical context with what was happening during that time, etc. And for my youngest, he can begin to do some matching and differentiation between the different paintings. We can have lighter conversations, maybe go to the museum and look at some of the paintings um, at our local museum um, that might be either from the same era or, you know, from the artist. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use these and I thought I'd share what I use to make them just in case you are interested in making your own. So here we go. For this project, I use these stackable organizing drawers. Sorry for the glare. I picked those up at the dollar store. I love that they're see-through. And then these little books retail anywhere between a dollar to a dollar ninety-nine and you get 16 full color art stickers of different paintings by that artist. And they have a variety of different artists that you can choose from. You'll also need either a poster board like this or construction paper. And I did all of our art cards with uh, black construction paper. And then you'll need the template for the cards and I will put that right on the screen so you can see it and then I'll also list it in the video description. Here's the template that I used and here are the stickers. So I type the name of the painting right onto the template and then I print it out and then I cut them out and I cut each piece out separately and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, here you can see what the cards look like once you cut them out and you put them on the black background, the construction paper. And here, again, I'll show you, this is the template. So I cut each piece separate, the painting and the name of the painting. And then if you can look closely here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the name of the painting comes along with the sticker. So I just cut that piece out and then I go ahead and put it here on the back of the card. That way when I'm showing the student or my child <laughs> um, the card, you can tell them the name of the painting. And then once they're familiar with the name of the different paintings, they can play a matching game and match the name of the painting to the painting. And also here on the back, you'll see that I added the name of the artist. And that way, if these cards get misplaced, you know exactly in which drawer they belong. Then you can cut out the name of the artist and tape it right to the front of your box and that way each box is easily identifiable. And then on the inside cover, you'll find a paragraph that tells you a little bit more about that artist. So I go ahead and cut that out and put it in the box. The back sometimes has interesting facts as well, so you might wanna read that and see if you wanna include it in your little box. And that is how I created our little art boxes this will be a great way to incorporate art history and art study into our homeschool. This would be lovely for a classroom if you're an art teacher. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Till next time, everyone, have a great week. Bye-bye.